in the 600th year of Noah's life in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. I want to look at a discovery that was recently made and then you can make your mind up what you think. But this is going to be very, very neat. So stay with me. Here we go. Hello, viewers. I've got something for you today. A uh, discovery that was made by some scientists. Um, uh, this little thing right here with the... It's a rock called Ringwoodite. And it holds water. Well, the reason I wanted to bring this up is because in the Bible, um, there is something called the Fountains of the Deep. Uh, the time of Noah's flood, the Bible says that the fountains of the deep were broken up and water came up from underneath and also God opened the windows of heaven and rain came down and there was enough water to cover the mountaintops. A lot of people said, well, that's not true. Uh, said that's just myth and it's a blah 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 you know and but anyway we're going to look at something from Job here in a minute we're going to look at something from Genesis and we're going to prove that every once in a while science starts proving that the scriptures are true and I have a really really neat thing from Job that I'm going to show you that that even talks about this rock right here okay now this this thing here is a reservoir of water three times the volume of all the oceans has been discovered deep beneath the earth's surface. The finding could help explain where earth's seas came from. So these people, uh, uh, let, well let's continue on. It says the water is hidden inside a blue rock called Ringwoodite that lies 700 kilometers underground in the mantle, the layer of hot rock between earth's surface and its core. And uh, anyway, it's a really beautiful looking rock. This, uh, the, it was discovered by using, um, uh, for one, there was some stuff that came out of, of a volcano and they uh, found uh, some of this um, ringwoodite uh, through that way and then seismographs and, and, uh, and listening through that way, the way that these... Uh, uh, waves and what have you travel through the crust and what have you and it goes through soggy rock and it would take different amounts of times and things like that okay and then there was something down here I kind of wanted to, to show you um, okay it says we should be grateful for this deep reservoir says uh, Jacobson if it wasn't there it would be on the earth, on the surface of the earth, and the mountain tops would be uh, the only land poking out. I say, nah, that's not even true. The mountain tops would be covered, just like the scripture said that all the mountain tops were covered when the fountains of the deep. Now they said they found this underneath the um, uh United States, and they're wondering if it's all around the world. Uh, and they, they found it in a few places. The United States was one. Okay, now, let's go. And I was wondering, I was like, well, I know the Bible talks about the fountains of the deep, but I wonder if it talks about this rock. And there's a treat I got for you here in a minute that's going to be pretty cool. Let's switch over here first. This is where, right here, is where um, um, God stopped the fountains of the deep back up and, uh, and closed the windows of heaven uh, for the waters to be able to recede. So it says, the fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained. Okay, so there's one right there and it talks about the, uh, the, the face of the deep and things like that right here in the face of the waters during the creation uh, but anyway this right here is the part that has to do with the flood of Noah's time and then there's an interesting one right here out of Job and I'm going to play something for you out of Job here in a minute there's a, it's going to be a reading and it's very very interesting the way that it comes off and uh, where man sometimes questions uh, the things in the scriptures and God finally addresses Job and says 
you know, who are you to be uh, uh, questioning me? And, and the way he says it is really cool. And even talks about Pleiades and the bands of Orion and things like that. Things that science will discover. Because every once in a while you have scientists that discover things that proves that there's, there's information in the scriptures that are beyond anything that man could have known at that time. Such as even like the tabernacle, uh, tabernacle in the wilderness when they set the tent up and they had exact amount of posts they, or poles that held the tent up on each side, and it and it ends up uh, being the exact number of chromosomes on each side, and we have four pairs of chromosomes, and it, all the numbers of those tents and posts and all that kind of stuff match perfectly. The uh, genet genetics. The uh, pairs, four pairs of chromosomes, and then also the amount on each side, where you have two pairs, your mother and father, and all that kind of stuff. And, and I'm not a, a, a geneticist, so uh, it's hard for me to explain it perfectly, but you can look into that, and it's, it's really cool. I think Mike Hoggard has a, a teaching on that. But the genetics are in the, the tabernacle of the wilderness, and we know that later in scriptures, the Bible uh, says that... Uh, we are the tabernacle and the Holy Spirit dwells in us, not in the tent anymore or that, that is made with hands and what have you, or even the temple during Herod's time and, and Solomon's time. Okay, but look, let's look at this one right here. It says, The waters are hid as with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. So that's very interesting. The waters are hid as with a stone. Okay? and the face of the deep is frozen. So we know, let's go back and look at that right there. This right here is a stone. It's a rock. And it's this water is frozen in there. And th these little nodules, by the way, are uh, where in the lab here they squeeze this wa sw some water out. These little spots are where water has been squeezed out. Now that water is frozen and hid in this earth, in the rock. Just like that says, right here, the waters are hid as with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. And that, that's the deep right here that we're talking about, and the fountains of the deep, and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain, they were opened at one point, and then they were stopped to let the flood recede. Okay, now let's go, and I want you to listen to this of Job the next time that you might want to think about you know, when you question that, that the things in the scriptures are true or not, science sometimes discovers things that people a long time ago would have said, oh, no way, man, that's not even true, there's no way, it's just all myth and blah, blah, blah. But <clears throat> I'm saying just, just listen to this next part, and then we'll talk afterwards. Job 38 Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Or who shut up the sea with doors when it brake forth, as if it had issued out of the womb? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Or who shut up the sea with doors when it brake forth, as if it had issued out of the womb? When I made the cloud the garment thereof, and thick darkness a swaddling band for it, and break up for it my decreed place, and set bars and doors, and said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further, and here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and caused the day spring to know his place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it? It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment, and from the wicked their light is withholden, and the high arm shall be broken. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea, or hast thou walked in the search of the depth? 
Have the gates of death been opened unto thee? Or hast thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Hast thou perceived the breadth of the earth? Declare if thou knowest it all. Where is the way where light dwelleth? And as for darkness, where is the place thereof, that thou shouldst take it to the bound thereof, and that thou shouldst know the paths to the house thereof? Knowest thou it because thou wast then born, or because the number of thy days is great? Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? By what way is the light parted, which scattereth the east wind upon the earth? Who hath divided a water course for the overflowing of waters, or a way for the lightning of thunder, to cause it to rain on the earth, where no man is, on the wilderness, wherein there is no man? to satisfy the desolate and waste ground, and to cause the bud of the tender herb to spring forth. Hath the rain a father, or who hath begotten the drops of dew, out of whose womb came the ice, and the hoary frost of heaven who hath gendered it? The waters are hid as with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades, or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Mazaroth in his season, or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? Canst thou lift up thy voice to the clouds, that abundance of waters may cover thee? Canst thou send lightnings that they may go, and say unto thee, Here we are? Who hath put wisdom in the inward parts, or who hath given understanding to the heart? Who can number the clouds in wisdom, or who can stay the bottles of heaven, when the dust groweth into hardness, and the clods cleave fast together? Wilt thou hunt the prey for the lion, or fill the appetite of the young lions when they couch in their dens and abide in the covert to lie in wait? Who provideth for the raven his food, when his young ones cry unto God, they wander for lack of meat? So when you hear all those statements that are made by God, because that was God speaking unto Job, and you see verses like this, the waters are hid as with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen, and then we see something in science that proves that that is something that is true, all those other statements that God made, in that chapter and the previous chapter, you'll see some more like that. All of those statements are true, whether we understand them or not. It doesn't matter. The, the, the bands of Orion that you heard in that statement, there's some kind of things that science uh, is discovering these days that holds all these things in space together. And all the Big Bang Theory where everything's supposedly spreading apart, there's some scientists that are saying, well, that doesn't seem to be true now. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, it's in the scriptures. What the Bible says that uh, Orion has bands that can be loosed or not loosed or whatever, uh, then that's a fact. That's a statement that is a fact. All these statements in the scriptures are fact. And I ask you to consider that when you hear anything from the scriptures, Consider it to be true and look for a way to prove with the science that is out there that these things are true. I think this is a very cool um, lesson here in this uh, discovery with this wood or right uh, is an is a incredible discovery, I think. And it really proves that this is true. And the flood of Noah is a fact. So... I ask that everyone listening that you subscribe, comment, and please share these videos. It really helps me out if you share these videos. So, till the next time, I'm Brenton Saul and signing out, and I will see you on the next video. Be blessed.